Hey everybody and welcome back to SV Blown Away. Now you join us on the island of Meganesi in the Greek Ionian, where we are currently making repairs while staying in a camper van. And before we get started on this week's video, let's take a quick recap at last week, where I showed you how bad the cabin sole had become on Blown Away. So I decided I was going to replace the entire floor, only to find that the floor panels wouldn't go out through the doorway, so they need to go out through the butterfly hatch. But on removal of the butterfly hatch, I found how badly cracked the teak frame was. So I needed to make some repairs pretty quick. Because it's midwinter and there is rain in the forecast. So I need to make the repairs as quickly as I can and refit these butterfly hatches before the rain begins. So with the new piece of teak firmly attached to the hatch frame, it's now time to sand it back flush. The new piece has to meet the same level as the old piece. Sometimes it just feels like owning a boat is standing in a cold shower, ripping up money. And this is the whole bar stool bench workshop. I am as Heath Robinson as I can get with benches, tools and everything else because I am working on the dock next to the boat. So the cuts that I make are never going to be exact, which means I am left with gaps between the join and the teak. They're only tiny, but I don't want to see them. So while the glue is still wet and I'm using the sander, I can then push the wet glue complete with teak dust down into any gaps that I've created on my poor workmanship. Sorry. So I just need now to wait for all this glue to go off properly. Once this glue's gone off, I'll sand the rest of this down. Um, the wood shavings now will be in the glue, so when it goes off hard it'll be no cracks visible and then I'll run the router down this edge just to straighten it all up and then I've got the two pieces of beading to go back in this third section of beading is going to have to come off so that I can route the groove for the seal but yeah it's going to be okay and then obviously with the screw heads and stuff I'll rebate all of this as well so these screw heads will disappear I'll plug them that'll be invisible I'm quite pleased with that, having wasted one piece of teak. Now this hatch is open to the elements and requires a seal. The seal sits in a rebated circular groove. Now for me to create a 16mm round groove that I need, I'm going to use my Einhell router. And the seal does not come in sections, so the corners of the seal groove are rounded. So the seal is one continuous loop of neoprene rubber that goes all the way around the hatch. The old seal was stuck in using Sikaflex. I know that for a fact because I did it. So for me to continue on round this hatch using the router, I've had to remove the side panels. And the rounded corner sections I have to do freehand, which is probably the worst bit. 
one slip here and this is ruined. I'd say that looks pretty good. I've already ran the router through this gap here to get rid of the old sicker. I need to do this one, but I can't do it with this this lip. With this lip here, I can't run the router down there, and I need to get this out. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this piece of teak, this trim, and uh, yeah, I'll have to put it back on after. And as with all of the teak furniture on board Blown Away, it is old school. So the screws are invisible. They are behind wooden teak plugs. And I have to get those plugs out to get to the screw heads. Hmm. What could possibly go wrong? This is the danger of taking stuff apart after 50 years. No, 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 no! That is so visible. <sighs> Gonna glue it, hope I get away with it. If not, I'll have to make a new one. <sighs> Do have another piece of teak over there that's the right size. <sighs> like I needed another job. <laughs> By 10 o'clock this evening, that needs to be watertight. I'm going to put the crossbeam back in. <clears throat> so that crossbeam is going to go back in. One hatch I haven't touched, so that can just be placed on top. That'll be watertight. And then uh, the other one, I can leave it up here while the glue's drying. Um, and I'll put the top back over it, and I'll put the tents out on the boom as well. And this thing's only ever been put in with um, butyl. <coughs> so all I need to do. Let's clean up the butyl, relay the butyl, and then this should go back in. Okay. And with the floor panels up, that end cap for the hinge is in the bilge. Well, never to be seen again. I think that's one of the end caps off the hinge. Okay, one down. I naturally assumed that the hinges were the cause of the split wood, but the hinges aren't seized. I'm going to lubricate them anyway, but they weren't the problem. And remember, I didn't take these hatches out to work on them, I took them out to access the floor panels. But because I made repairs to them, I'm going to varnish them. So I don't really want to put these back on permanently. I just need to place them in situ so that I can put a tarp over, which will stop the rain from getting inside of the boat. Because the new floor panels will be smaller than the old ones, I know they will all fit through the companionway, so this cross beam can be reattached to the boat.
and the cross beam sits on a bed of butyl. Butyl, if you work it properly, can be reused. Okay. So with the untouched hatch back in position, it's now time for me to finish the repairs on the one that was damaged. And that means putting back the three pieces of trim on the side of the butterfly hatch. Remember, one of those split. I'm just going to use a bit of wood glue and some teak dust to rebond the split section onto this trim. I think we can rescue that piece. So I'm going to leave that to dry in the sunshine now. And with heavy rain in tonight's forecast, all I can do is cover this over. And it rained really heavy overnight. Look at this lot washed out from the valley. Hopefully, none of it got in the boat. Um, yeah. Bit of a paddling pool. We can leave one hatch on, but I do need the other one off. And then tomorrow, hopefully, sunshine in the forecast. And uh, if it is sunny, we can get some varnish on those hatches. And if I can get some varnish to dry, I can then screw them back on. Boat watertight. Perfect, just what I need. The glue for that repair has now set, so uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to rebate these screws, they'll disappear. But this is the hinge end, so you, actually, you can't see these. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to clean all this up now, sand this down, and then I'm hoping I can get a little varnish on this tomorrow if it's warm enough in the sunshine. I have to put the side pieces on, so those pieces there I need to go back on the sides and then uh, once they're all screwed and glued all this can be sanded down quite nicely. I'll prep the outside, I'll also prep the inside, although I'm not going to varnish the inside just yet, I will prep it because it's easy to do it now with all the pieces off. I'm new in the old, <coughs> obviously this bit being uh, the old section which was badly broken. I need to um, mark the hinge rebates and I'll use the router just to take a, a shaving out of this.
Sure, it's instantly repaired. Come up pretty well. So all my side pieces are glued back on. I'm really quite pleased with this. I just need to plug it all now and give it a lick of varnish tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Happy. Welcome back. Uh, so we're back on the hatches at the moment. I'm pretty keen to get the hatches done before it starts to rain. I've probably said that before. Uh, so that's what we're kind of cracking on with. Weather here at the moment is pretty good. A little bit of sunshine. Might even be able to get some varnish on, which would be exceedingly good. Let's hope so. I do have some ready-made and some homemade plugs for teak, uh, but none were the right size for those holes. Surprise, surprise. So I'm making some. And with teak being this expensive, absolutely none of these offcuts go to waste. I will drill every single piece and make plugs from the waste. plugs I'm making to plug the screw holes. I know, a bit of a tease to the end. Hey, you're going to have to join us again next week to find out if we managed to get those hatches into the boat before it really started raining. Big shout out to our monthly coffee supporters, the McKenna family, David Luchford, Eric Backland, Captain Svetlana and Trev. Thank you very much. Uh, these guys on your screen now all made donations via Kofi. And as always, a big shout out to our monthly Patreon supporters. Team BA much appreciates your help in the making of these videos. And if you manage to stick around for this long, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again next week. As always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I always look forward to reading your comments and don't forget to share this video with your friends because your help keeps this channel running. Thank you.